let us look at another method of calculating the square root of a number and this method is known as division method. So let us calculate the square root of 2025. Of course it is 45 but let's see how we can get it as 45. So the first step in this method is to write the number as it is. So 2025. Now we have to group the digit of this number. Starting from the right hand side start making groups of 2. So these are two numbers and these are two numbers. Let us make this more exciting. This is going to be a game of boxes. So I have this thing ready here. On the left hand side there is one box. On the top you will get the square root of your number. Now we take into account the first group. Here there should be a number and in these two pink boxes there should be the same number when squared it should be closest to this number as we have to subtract this number from this 20. So what number when squared is closest to 20? 3 times 3 is 9 so 9 is way too less than 20 so 4 times 4 is 16 and 5 times 5 is 25 so we cannot take 5 because it's its square is greater than 20 we can take 4 so 4 times 4 is 16. So let us subtract it. 20 minus 16 is 4. Now the second step is you have to add these two numbers. So 4 plus 4 is 8. Now 8 is fixed. There is another box now and another box here. Now you have to have the same number in these boxes. But before we do that let us bring this 25 down. Now you have to have such a number, let us write it here, 8 dash times another number which comes in this two blank spaces such that it is closest to 425. So let us try 81. 81 times 1 is 81. So 81 is way too less than 20, 425. So we can try 85 times 5. 5 fives are 25 to carry. 5 8s are 40 plus 2 is 42. So we have the exact number 425. 85 times 5 is 425. Now 425 minus 425 is 0. Once you get a 0 here, you can say that this number is the square root of 2025. So under root of 2025 is equal to 45. Let us take another example. This time the number is very big. So let us write the number 1752976. Now we have to group the digits of this number starting from the right hand side. And the group should be two digits at a time. So 7629751 can remain as it is. Okay, now let us draw our boxes. We have a box here and a box here. So let us take the first group. So 1 times 1 is 1. So here 1 will come. 1 times 1 is 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. The next pair comes down. 7, 5. Now 1 should be added with this 1. So 1 plus 1 is 2. This 2 gets fixed. Now we have to take another blank here. So we have another box. So we have these blue boxes. So 2 dash times that number which comes in this blank should be near to 75. So 25 times 5 is very bigger than 75. Let's try 22 times 2 which is 44 which is not going to work because 44 is very less than 75. So let's try 23 times 3. 3 3 is a 9, 3 2 is a 6. 69 is closer to 75. So here we'll write 3. Now keep in mind that whenever you write numbers in these boxes, the number should be same. There should not be different numbers. So 23 times 3 is 69. 75 minus 69, you get 6. And this group comes down, 29. Now you have to add this number to this number. So 23 plus 3 is 26. Now 26 
is fixed you ought to have another box here so we have two six and a blank and a blank here so two six some number multiplied by the same number should be closest to 629 let us try 263 times 3 so 3 3 is a 9 3 6 are 18 1 carry 3 to the 6 plus 27 789 is bigger than 629 so we can take 2 so 262 times 2 is 2 to the 4 2 6 is a 12 1 is carry 2 to the 4 plus 1 is 5 so 524 so 629 minus 524 is 105 now this 76 comes down again you will have to add this 2 with the number 262 so you have 264 now 264 are fixed you have another blank here and a blank here so again in these boxes another number should come so let us try 264 blank times the same number should be closer to 10576 well 4 times 4 is 16 so here the units place is 16 so we can try 264 4 times 4 so 4 times 4 is 16 1 carry again 4 times 4 is 16 plus 1 is 17 again 1 is carry 6 4s are 24 plus 1 is 25 now 2 is carry 4 2s are 8 plus 2 is 10 so 10576 so 2644 4 times 4 is 10576 so you have the remainder as 0 therefore the square root of this big number is equal to 1324 and it is 100% correct so one thing I want to clear here is the remainder is 0 that's why this is a perfect square had the remainder not been 0 this wouldn't have been a perfect square now let us try to calculate the square root of a number which is not a perfect square so you have under root of 5 to be calculated so you can write 5 as 5.0000 isn't it so let us calculate the under root of this decimal number now you have to take the groups of digits so starting from the units digit so this is only single group on the right hand side of the decimal point we can make groups of two we can take as many double zeros as we want so let us start off with our first boxes so we have a box here and a box here and let us align the decimal points as they are so what number should come here well one cannot come because one times one is one which is way too less than five so two times two is four which is near to five so two times two is four five minus four is one we have to add these two numbers two plus two is four four is now fixed we will have to take another box here so another box to the right of decimal point these zeros can come down so we have this big number 100 now 4 blank times this blank should be near to 100 so 42 times 2 seems a good choice so 42 times 2 is 2 to the 4 2 4 is 8 84 43 times 3 would overflow so 42 times 2 is 84 so 100 minus 84 is 16 and again we'll have to add these 2 plus 2 so 42 plus 2 is we get 44 now 44 is fixed take another box so we have another box here and another box here and these zeros can come down as always so 4 4 blank times this blank should be near to 1 6 double zero well let us multiply 4 4 4 times 4 4 4 is a 16 1 is carry 4 4 is a 16 17 again 1 is carry 4 4 is a 16 plus 1 is 7 so 1776 is way too bigger than 1600 so 443 times 3 can fit into our case so 443 times 
3 is 1329. Now let us subtract it. 1600 minus 1329 is 271. So again we can take these zeros down but no need to calculate this further because the answer is asked up to two decimal places. So we have our answer up to two decimal places. So under root of 5 is equal to 2.23. Of course there are more numbers after the decimal point but this is an approximation.